everyone, welcome to the Final Cut, Mark the Movie Man here, and today we are going to take a look at a low-budget, no-budget film from across the pond, yes, in Sweden. This movie is called Murder Island, brought to us by writer and director Joachim S. Hammond, who also co-wrote the screenplay with uh, Rita S. Hammond, who actually stars in the film. Now, we basically get our kids on the road, going to a camping trip, get in a canoe, go out to an island, where there houses a serial killer who be proceeds to off them one by one throughout the film. Nothing original here, but with 46 minutes and change in the film, you don't have a whole lot of time to develop character or backstory for this, okay? You play off some cliched characters, and you stick with a basic plot. Now, that doesn't mean that it's bad when you do that. It just means that you are limited in what you see. Now, what I did see and enjoy was the camera work in this from a low-budget, no-budget film. They really put effort in trying to make this film look like a regular film. There's some great tracking shots, some long shots that you get with a girl just leaving her house and packing her car. There's some other great shots of uh, when the kids are running through the woods away from the killer, okay? Some fantastic camera work there, and you can tell they planned out their shots in those scenes very well, and they look fantastic. They look like legitimate film shots rather than some kids just shooting stuff on a weekend. So pluses there, okay? There wasn't a whole lot of gore, but you didn't need it. The story moved moved along fairly nicely, and uh, there weren't really any whole lot of dead spots. There were a few points where the lighting was really bad, now they were going for more of a dark feel, which I'll take over the blue lighting that you get out of Hollywood, but uh, still, there were some parts where it was hard to tell what was going on. I did like how the story progressed for about 90% min uh, 90 of the film, but near the very end, they tried to do kind of a twist ending, and I wish they hadn't gone that route. kind of took it away from me. And another thing that kind of took away from me as well was the fact that there was bad dubbing. I was hoping for subtitles in this film. Uh, it would have helped it a lot and get more of the true performance that the kids were going for rather than some really bad dubbing, uh, which I'm not sure if they did or they had had someone else do is hard to say but uh, you know Murder Island it is a good effort it's a decent effort for a low budget no budget film I did only have to give it two and a half stubs okay not quite three in there but if you are into independent horror film it's one issue put on your list if anything for the long uh, for some of the camera work that they do in there and also let's not forget the heavy metal and I do mean heavy metal soundtrack that accompanies the film throughout okay each scene has got some driving hard rock to it when they're running through the woods but then when you've got a soundtrack done with bands like the name of uh, a dark funeral and vader and i think it's a uh, was it defleshed and trend kill okay you got bands like that doing the soundtrack you know what you're in for some driving hard rock metal some great camera work uh two and a half stubs folks from the movie man check it out if you like indie horror films and that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, keep that ticket stuff.